up guys welcome to another episode of eclipse lawn care daily downtime we're here at this uh, property and i'm going to tell you guys this is the biggest leaf cleanup we've done by far i mean it's probably i want to say maybe about an acre maybe just right about an acre maybe a little bit over but this entire property was covered with leaves it took us maybe what about 30 minutes to kind of blow a maybe about a layer or two of leaves kind of spread it out and we have dug on baby cakes i don't know if we get yeah but there he is the dug's on baby cakes and he's just going back and forth mulching it we got uh the new guy over here also blowing i'm going to give you all a view of the backyard and let you see what we got going back there the backyard is still somewhat full of leaves here i'll show you the new guy so there he is we're gonna try to blow everything what's left right there out to the backyard it's windy so we're getting a gust of wind from, from the south to north <clears throat> so everything's kind of going and collecting against this this fence and the neighbors they're trying to get the leaves not blown into their yard because they're I think that house is on the market but this is this is a property so it's it's a pretty big property guys I tried it already clean up cleaning up a lot of the leaves on the porch which I mean it was terrible snake infested area once again a lot of water snakes there's a little I don't know if y'all could yeah there you, you could see the little little pond back there so these properties especially the flower beds they're infested with a lot of water snakes so you gotta you gotta be on your toes you know <clears throat> pretty uh kind of blown kind of a few snakes away but you know they're small little snakes nothing big they're not anacondas or anything like that i tell you what my anaconda don't want none don't want none of my weed eater man because it'll we'll, we'll tear it up um man it's let me show you these leaves have been on here for uh, I don't know maybe about a season and a half I mean it's just tons of leaves it's just caked onto the to the ground here to the stones so it, it takes some uh, some elbow grease to get these moving and get them loose once you get them loose and it's a piece of cake moving them out <clears throat> like I said we got a gust of wind going from uh, south to east which isn't helping much. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at Doug. He's on baby cakes. Give you some uh, action there. <clears throat> Doug's getting it. I don't want to make this a long video. <clears throat> I don't want to make it a long video just because uh, we're almost out of fuel, so I gotta go get some fuel. All right, don't know what that was about. Let's go ahead and look at Doug. working with today we've been here for about I don't know maybe an hour or so baby cakes is getting it like I said I mean she did a pretty good job just mulching up the leaves here the flower beds terrible snake infested water snakes garter snakes um, little slimy snakes I mean you name it guys we got it in the flower bed ball pythons anaconda no no anaconda but I gotta go get some fuel. So that's it. That's it. I posted a, uh, I think I posted a before and after picture on my Instagram. Y'all guys aren't uh, 
following on this on Instagram, but check it out right there. Boom, right there, baby. Instagram. Boom, Twitter, but I never use it, fellas. Boom, Facebook, but I really don't use it either. But I do use the IG, and I do use the YouTube, fellas. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lock up this trailer, go get some fuel, get some drinks for the guys, some sweet tea. And uh, thanks for watching, man. Like this video. I'll, I'll do a little update. You know what? I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna go get the fuel, get the guys some drink, come back, and we'll start recording again. Stay tuned, fellas. All right, guys, had to make a run over here to Home Depot real quick. I need to pick up some two-cycle oil before I start to refuel. I was looking at the uh, at the Echo. You know, you got the two different, I guess, style. You got the regular power, power blend gold, and then you got the red armor. I've tried the red armor a while back. Um, I don't know, never, it's really not, I didn't see any difference on them, but I'm gonna try out this other brand. It's the uh, Ethanol Shield with fuel stabilizer. We're gonna give that a shot. I think it'll work when we pick up two of these real quick. And uh, I don't know, guys, if y'all guys tried the Ethanol Shield, y'all guys let me know. Give it a shot. And uh, I gotta go pick up a sweet tea for homeboy and fuel up. Can I pay for this here? Awesome. That's it. You want a bag? No, nah, no bag. 
going this way, but if you give it a quarter throttle to maybe half, then you'll be able to control the leaves a little bit better, and uh, you'll be able to push them towards where you want to go. That's going to be a quarter throttle. Takes a little finesse of the uh, trigger to be able to control leaves, uh, especially during a windy or breezy day. But I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little view, real quick, of the backyard, back of the property. We still got some leaves that uh, need to be mulched up a little bit. The blade on the Toro is definitely, yeah, it's it's bad. Definitely needs to sharpen. I'm going to switch out the blades and get these sharpened. Uh, for our <clears throat> when we go out and cut grass definitely can't cut grass with the blades that are on there right now So we have one property that we are going to mow today Smaller property, but we'll be able to use a 21 inch But the blades are shot on this one for sure. We have lots of uh, Tree limbs on the floor Just a bunch of trash that we're running over but I don't know if y'all can tell, we still got some leaves on this on this side. We're gonna, I'm gonna start trying to blow as much as I can and go with the wind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the wind help me out instead of fighting against the wind. I'm just gonna help. I'm gonna start on this side and start blowing the uh, smaller pieces of leaves back towards the fellas and have them mulch it up. So, like I said, if you if you're gonna try to control the leaves against the wind give it about a quarter uh, a throttle to half a throttle and that should kind of help out so there you go guys stay tuned all right guys looks like we're done with the leaf cleanup we just got a few debris right by the fence line that we're kind of raking up it was uh, really wet and damp the leaves by that fence line so we're uh we just try to mulch as much as we could but of course it's not going to mulch when it's wet so we're going to rake up just that little piece we got the backyard looking nice as well took us uh about three and a half four hours to knock out this leaf cleanup i mean i don't know I think it's it's good. This is one of the first big leaf cleanups that I've done. And I think it was a success. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Actually let's go see what the uh what Doug and the new guy are doing. I'll show you what we got going on over here. I'm actually going to measure the flower beds and you know let the customer know that we could do a cleanup and add a mulch and trim the shrubs which they're they're kind of wild and also in the back flower beds all the way around are very uh very tall and just definitely needs a cleanup so this is the part i was telling you about we're gonna we need to rake up and uh, get a bag we're not gonna rake up the whole thing we're just gonna just the loose leaves on top Oh, we got old Buster Douglas at it again. We're gonna let him be. <laughs> we'll let Dougie Doug be. Here, there you go. There's a... I think the guys are tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the vlog so I can give them a hand real quick. All right, guys, like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>